Have you ever wondered how drastically your life would change if you became disabled to the point of being confined to a wheelchair? I think one reason why many of us never even think about those things is because we don't expect to become disabled, or at least I didn't. Since only a small percentage of able-bodied people in their prime become confined to wheelchairs, we may think the odds are in our favor. But let me ask you, what if you were to become part of our small percentage? If that were to happen, things would look quite different. Like any normal person, I had no premonition whatsoever that I would become disabled. And yet it happened very quickly, five days before my daughter's first birthday. One minute I was an able-bodied person, the next minute I was disabled. Ever since then, my family and I have been suffering the consequences. David, if I gave you $55, would you allow me to cut off your legs? No. Well, how about $550? No. $5,500? I don't think so. No. Well, how about $55,000? I think I like my legs more than that. No, I, I wouldn't do that at all. This is a brand new saw. I've never used it to cut anything yet, so it's not contaminated with anyone else's flesh and bone. How about $55,000 for only one leg? No, no. Still no deal? No deal, no. You won't allow me to cut off your legs for good money and for good reason. Yet, we tend to take risky shortcuts ourselves for free that could seriously injure us or someone else. I made a decision to take safety shortcuts that made sense to me at the time, but cost me my legs and seriously injured my right arm and hand. <clears throat> I was trying to save approximately $55 per year but now I'm paying dearly. Taking shortcuts for a lifetime without getting seriously hurt gave me a false sense of security, but as you can well see, it eventually caught up with me. If you take safety shortcuts, it's not a matter of if you get hurt, but when. Folks, I'm just grateful to be alive after miraculously surviving an unnecessary gas explosion. Looking back now, I realize the foolishness of what I did, but like many others who have gotten hurt, I was operating with local rationality, meaning that what I did made perfect sense to me at the time. Having learned from my mistakes, I now want to challenge you to become more safety conscious by considering how your and your family's lifestyles would change if you became disabled. I do this by sharing the story of my accident and the rippling effects my safety shortcuts have had on my family and I. My safety presentation is a strong deterrent to taking safety shortcuts which should help eliminate accidents, thereby making you more OSHA compliant. If I can help enhance the attitude toward safety in your organization, please let me know. I would be delighted to help you.